Wow. Oh, hello there, little kitty. Just wondering if you could help me. Wow. Sure. Um, well, basically, I, uh, I've been playing around in your litter box, and I got some, I got, I got a little bit stuck. I'm kind of in a, in a tight spot. Why did you play in the litter box? Well, well, I thought it was going to be really fun and good for me, so I did it. Well, okay. Well, what do you need me to help you do? Well... I just need to try to get my excrement out of your litter box. Well, just start digging. Hello and welcome to Caesar's Snack Sandwich. Today we're going to take a look at Phantom Scan, Ether Scan, Binance Smart Chain Scan, all of these scans. I'm going to talk about how to get your LP tokens out of a farm, like a, a master chef farm. Um, there's a lot of people asking me for this because, you know, I did another video where I explained how to get out of a Volt token. You can check that video. I'll put a link to that in the uh, at the end of this video. But anyways, this one's how to get out of like a position like an LP position where you've staked it to farm some token and then maybe the website's gone down and you can't undo it so you need to use phantom scan to interact with the contracts directly now like I'm using phantom here but you could use ether scan or any of the other scans that are EMV compatible and there is some assumptions that the protocol you're dealing with has forked you know sushi swap or uniswap or any of these master chef contracts and then this will probably work now it's not going to work for every single one but hopefully this will help a lot of people anyways so before i get into the system of how to do this i'd like to thank cream finance for sponsoring my channel if you want to borrow or lend some crypto you can check out the description below i think they're great so let's go down to where we need to go so here i am on phantom scan and this is the transaction of my deposit so I deposited one spooky LP token into the Boo farm. And uh, if you go to here, it's basically this one here. So I, I did, did one, but you could do, you'll probably have a random number of some sort. So I'm gonna do, I did one just to make it easier. So if we go back to the, this is the deposit transaction. So I went to my history, I dug through there and I found that this, uh, this transaction was where I put my tokens into the farm. So the first thing I'm going to want to do is I'm going to come down to here. This is an important number, and it's here. It's called the uh, PID. This is the pool ID number. So each uh, token that goes into this farm, like each SLP token that goes into this farm, will have its own pool ID. So this number is important for me to tell it uh, which token I want to pull out of the farm. So in this case, which SLP token or SPL, SPLP token that I want to pull out of the farm. So remember this number is 05. So then I'm going to click on this here and go over to the master chef. So you could just right click, open in a new tab and go there. So I already did that. So I have it here. <clears throat> so go to, you'll probably end up with transactions. You go over to contract and then you go to, uh, so then you go over to read here, right? Now, why am I telling you to go to read and not write? Because write is what you will actually use to execute the transaction and make the pull out. But I'm gonna, we have to go to read because we need to get some more data from, uh, from our position. So we go down to the very bottom here and we have this user info. So we need to put two things in here. So this number here is the pool idea. I'm oh, sorry, this number here is the pool ID that I, I, I checked before, right? That's uh, this number down here at the bottom. Well, whoops, this one here is 0 0.5. So you'd have to come here and take this number. It might be 115 or whatever number it is. You take it and you put it here. And then here you need your own wallet address. So I'm going to click the MetaMask here. I'm going to take Caesar's wallet, stick it in here, and press query. So this is where it's going to give me my balance. Now, like in my case, I have one, but you're probably going to have like a long string of numbers here that are like, you know, just whatever that is. So you're going to have to probably copy this here, 
right? And uh, this is the reward, but I'm going to ignore that for now. And just, I want my money out because it's a scam. I don't really care about the rewards anymore. I just want my initial capital out, right? So I'm gonna select that and copy it, which I did control Z or control C. And then I'm gonna go back to the top where it says right. And then go down to uh, withdrawal, withdrawal. So we go down until we find withdrawal. Where is it? Withdrawal. So this is the amount of tokens I have. And then I remember that the pool ID is five. And I click that and I, oops, I'm sorry, I forgot to connect my wallet. I always forget to do this. So I connect my wallet, say yes, I want to use my wallet. I want to connect it. And then I go down back here and say, okay, I want to write this. And then I have to pay the gas. And then I press OK. And then the transaction is confirmed. And I will click that just to make sure it is confirmed. And here we go. Yes, so I have my one SLP token inside my wallet now. And I can take it back to the other place to try to dismantle it. Now dismantling an SLP via the contracts is a very very complicated thing so in this case I'm hoping that you did not stick your you did not build the SLP on the same place that you um, that you deposited it as a farm and uh, if you did then you're going to have a lot more work to do to try to dismantle this SLP and uh, it's not an easy job it's quite difficult but at least I was able to get my SLP out so let's say I had put my SLP into another contract to farm their con their token now I can at least take this one back to Spooky Swap to dismantle it if I so dis please. Okay, so I think that's pretty much it for today. And uh, thank you for watching and goodbye.